chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host Julie Yip. To us, OC stands for community because we believe our community strives when we come together. That's why each week we want to thank you for joining us on Tuesday evening on channel 56.10 and on Wednesday morning on channel 14.2. This is a bilingual English and Vietnamese program dedicated to educating, empowering, and inspiring our community. Our goal is to bridge the language and the cultural gap that exists in our community that can present as barriers to much needed services and programs throughout the community. Each week we'll be inviting a special guest to talk about the issues that matters most to our community. This week we have Larry Landauer from Regional Center of Orange County. He is the executive director and here to talk about all the services that are available to our community. Julie Yip, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Trong chương trình Kiến thức Y khoa Gia đình và Xã hội, chương trình Kiến thức Y khoa Gia đình và Xã hội là OC Health and Education. OC nói tắt là cho our community. Julie hy vọng chúng tôi sẽ có thời gian nói chuyện về quý vị về thông tin rất là quan trọng cho chúng tôi. Hôm nay Julie có thời gian nói chuyện với Larry Landauer, là Executive Director of Regional Center of Orange County. Larry, welcome to our show. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much, uh, Julie and uh, Little Saigon TV and the, uh, the audience. Uh, we're very appreciative of the Regional Center of Orange County of getting the word out as, as best we can to make sure that we're serving everybody that we can that has uh, qualifying uh, disabilities. Well, thank you, Larry, for you know setting aside valuable time. I know I, I was saying that you know the only time I knew you was that letter name on the letterhead. But today I get to sit down and talk to you, and so I really appreciate for you to you know to come here to let us know about you know the programs of, of that that's available. But before we talk extensively about the regional, I want to know more about you, Larry. So how did you become the executive director of Regional Center? Uh, well, it uh, it. You know, you never know the the course your life is going to take a lot of times. I think uh, I probably started out, and I know I started out thinking maybe I'd be a doctor. Oh. And uh, I was in the Marine Corps at the same time, and going to college and, and juggling all of that. And um, try, I, wanted, uh, I was always late uh, to classes, basically, <laughs> from the summer because I was always busy somewhere in the, in the country with the Marine Corps. Mm. Uh, so some leftover classes were social work. Um, and I, I got, I had to take some of these courses. There was general education, but it, the long story short, one of them had an uh, internship with the Regional Center of Orange County. And it was very apparent um, after uh, nine months of working as, a, uh, as, an intern. as an intern and having a little mini caseload and, and working with some great, great people at the Regional Center uh, um, that I should look at this new, this this degree of social work and uh, so uh, I worked on my bachelor's of social work at that time and then uh, I eventually got my master's of social work at, at New Mexico Highlands University um, all tremendous experiences in uh, the field of uh, social work um, and it probably actually started with this is uh, back in high school there was a young man with uh, William syndrome that just hung out at the school all the time okay. and he was very active in all the sports. I played football and basketball yes. and, and uh, uh, always a little curious. Um, so that his story was uh, uh, that was kind of his self-made day program that mm -hmm. everybody adapted and adopted him at the school and the, all the teachers and coaches. Um, and I always wondered uh, a little bit more about that. And as I was studying in school, I started yes. learning more about that. So it, that was, uh, I was touched probably early on. And then if you want to go further back, I was in Scouts, uh, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, uh -huh. uh, Weeblows in between. And he got my Eagle Scout and have always been drawn to how can we make things better? Uh, how can we uh, improve? How can we be, a, it, it feels good. So mm -hmm. um, the regional center, the, what, the primary thing that we're doing, service coordination with uh, accounting and scanning and uh, mailroom and every, uh, family resource center, 
there's so many people behind that service coordinator position. That's where I started as a service coordinator. Um, there, there's, it's, it's endless. Um, and we're dealing with the life of an individual. Um, so from birth through, through the whole life cycle, basically, through death. I, I love what you said about, you know, it's just not just about just getting the degree, but you had such this foundation right. of what made you, you know, do what you do. So I appreciate you sharing that, that story with us. Uh, thưa quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV, hôm nay Larry Landauer nói chia sẻ với mình là chú Lê hỏi một đặc cái một câu hỏi là tại sao Larry uh, làm, làm cái công việc đây mà Larry chỉ nước nói đó là phải học cái bằng uh, bachelor degree trong social work nên đi, đi học thêm về New Mexico cho cái bằng master mà trước khi đó, đó là lúc mà trong high school thì Larry có một một đứa bạn có cái nhà quyết tật and then mà trước thì sớm hơn nữa đó là tại Larry là trong Boy Scout trong trong cái công cuộc đời của Larry Larry thấy là rất là quan trọng về cộng đồng thì là Larry muốn luôn luôn muốn làm cái công việc đó mà có rất nhiều ý nghĩa you know so what I was trying to you know capture with what you're saying Larry was that you know you you have a strong foundation of what you do but more importantly you have that 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 drive to help the community and it's you know with your history and your experience you know in in in, in the scouts and having a friend with a disability and it, then you know stumbling over a degree or credential that was able to allow you to maximize your ability to impact the community right. so i think that's very admirable i want to ask you how did you move on the ranks from being an intern and now being the executive director because you you really know from the bottom up on how to get to a position of uh, where you are now yeah uh, that um, i would have to uh, my parents i have uh, four older sisters i was the youngest of, of five um, so four older sisters that ah. was uh, that's always fun talking about <laughs> growing up with four older sisters were they uh, nice to you um, or did they dress you up in girl clothing? <laughs> really very nice, but they, I had so much education about uh, what, how guys should be. Oh, okay. <laughs> so every time they had a date, I had a lesson coming about what would, was good or not good. Uh -huh. um, but my father, my parents really put in some very strong work ethic. And uh, anything we got involved in, we were committed. You're, you're, we're, uh, if you're going to do something, you're going to do it. Uh, you're going to be. You're you're going to do it because you want to do it. It's in your heart, basically. Yes. Um, and uh, I think with uh, with that, and, and and I've seen that through time, because then uh, I got I married somebody from the regional center. I, I when I'm in, I'm working all the time. So it, you met your wife at the regional center I did, too. I met my wife at the regional center, and we've raised our two wonderful daughters uh, through. Uh, it's been over 33 years now, basically, but. Um, it's uh, there's probably no other chance to do it because my m when I get a passion about something, I'm all in. It's it's uh, it's long days. It, it's just not a job that you turn off. Basically, I recommend I don't recommend that to everybody. That's just uh, <laughs> one of the uh, my wife knows very well. My parents knew very well that uh, you if you have that certain drive, it's it's okay. But I wouldn't recommend it completely. You know, it's probably good to. To turn it off and at times and things like that, but it's, uh, um, but I've seen it in my daughters as well. The incredible work ethic and and uh, so it came from my parents to me. It came from the, their grandparents who came to this country, you know, from uh, uh, back in 19, uh, 1908 through uh, Ellis Island. Wow. So um, a lot of tradition of uh, understanding what it is to work hard, and uh, that's the regional center does work hard. Um, mm -hmm. The service coordinator has such an amazing team behind them. Some of the most incredible nurses, psychologists, really fantastic doctors. Um, not a lot, but um, uh, 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 quite a few. Um, so like I said, the service coordinator just has this amazing uh, team behind them that uh, uh, when you're talking to your service coordinator, there's so many people behind uh, that are helping with any, uh, anything that might be questions you have. So the Regional Center is a tremendous resource to families and I want people to really realize that. And if uh, there's any question about uh, uh, some uh, a disability or somebody seems like they're, they're, it isn't quite right, have it checked out. We, we, have, the, uh, we have the resources and, and amazing people to uh, uh, do assessments and things and, and just check. Now, number one, always check with your pediatrician, your doctor. 
uh, that's where the majority of referrals come from. But we have a lot of developmental screenings in the community, some right near here as well yes. at different times. And uh, it's always amazing. We, you know, we pick up kids. <laughs> kids were uh, that uh, the pediatricians or somebody might have missed. Um, so it, it, it's so valuable to get those services in place. Well, you know, thank you, Larry, for sharing all that. After the commercial break, we'll definitely talk a lot more because I know you get so much excitement for talking about you know your your life and your career. Cảm ơn quý vị đã tiếp tục theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Trong lần phần quảng cáo, chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục nói thêm với Larry Landau, Executive Director of Regional Center of Orange County.